Hi, this is a guide for a to basically do 4K uh, resolution on a 1080p monitor. That's the monitor I'm using right now. Um, and the advantages is basically you take a really good 4K crystal clear resolution picture and you're shrinking it down. You're, it's, you're down sampling down to the 1080p resolution. So what that does is you can turn off a lot of stuff like anti-aliasing or go very minimal on it. You can turn off a lot of quality settings because the 4K resolution uh, downsampled is actually better than super sampling or some other uh, some other quality quality effects features like uh, anti-sotropic anti-sotropic filtering and such. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. And then you want to head to 3D settings and manage 3D settings. Uh, down here under DSR factors, you want to make sure at least one of these is checkboxed. I always checkbox all of them. And then uh, 4x native resolution, that would be, you know, for 1080, that would be 4K. So you want to, if you want to do 4K, you want to do it. You could do 3K, 2.5, 2K, 1.5K. You know, these, these are all the things that are available to me. And the graphics card that I'm running is an RTX 2070. So once those are checkbox, you're good to go on the DSR. Uh, that's the dynamic. Uh, sample sy dynamic super resolution it says produces smoother images by rendering a game at higher higher high resolution then downscaling it to the native resolution of the display using advanced filtering so and then the dsr smoothness i use is 33 percent uh i haven't really played around with this but i haven't uh had any complaints so i'm not going to mess mess around and uh, do anything more or less than that figure. So go ahead and close that. The second program that you want to get is a program called Borderless Gaming. I'm currently running version 9.54 for this uh, tutorial. And uh, this allows you to basically, because you're going to have, if you're doing a 4K window, it's you're going to have this gigantic window that's going to span across a whole bunch of monitors. Borderless gaming allows you to basically take take whatever you know screen you have, the window, and shrink it down perfectly to you know without without a border. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's put that off to the side. Um, first thing you need to do uh, is you want to actually run Elite Dangerous with whatever current resolution you have. For me, it's 1080. And uh, we'll get that loaded up. And for right now, it's in a windowed mode for me. Uh, and I'll, and that's because I use borderless gaming all the time. So we're going to go ahead and get into the main menu here. So once you have the game running, uh, you, there's a trick you can do. You can hit Control Escape, and then it'll bring up your taskbar. And you want to make sure that you have Borderless Gaming running. And if it's not running, you can go ahead and open it now. It's not going to change anything. And you want to right-click on it in the taskbar here and click on Show. That should bring up the program here, and you should see a app list of applications that are running on your computer. The one you want to look for is Elite Dangerous Client. And then you want to click on the right arrow. And you'll notice if you're running a window, you'll see the screen shift here in a second. And there, it just filled out the screen to a borderless window. Uh, and that's because it's set to full screen. Once you have that done, whether you're running borderless or not or windowed, uh, the only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to be doing this in full screen. This is only for a windowed mode in Elite Dangerous. So if that's set, 
then you don't have to worry about borderless gaming from that point on. You head to options, graphics, expand your display, and then you'll notice here uh, you want to do 1920 by 1080. You want to make sure this is windowed. And uh, that's it. Primary monitor, obviously. So once you go to 1920 by 1080, um, this is where you're sitting at, right? And then you, the DSR actually adds a whole bunch of extra higher resolutions. Um, and then the 30, whoops, the 3840 by 2160 is the 4K resolution or the four times. So you want to select that and click apply. And then uh, before I do this, I'm going to show you my six monitors in the upper left hand corner there that I've got the picture and picture up there. And when I click apply, you're going to see the window expand across all six monitors, but then it's going to get shrunk down back to the 1080 monitor. So let's go ahead and click apply. And you'll see it expanded and then it got shrunk down and you want to click on yes. It's going to take a second to reboot the game. And once you do, you will notice that the clarity of the game itself is way sharper in everything. And then uh, I recommend uh, the if you're running at a 4K uh, resolution, that you cut back on your shadow quality to medium, you turn off bloom and blur, you cut back anti-aliasing to just full screen uh, anti-aliasing, which is the FX. Make sure your super sampling is only set to one because again, you don't need it. Ambient occlusion is off. And these are just all my personal uh, settings for an RTX 27. A lot of the other stuff I have on ultra or high. Um, but the reason why I turned off these particular items here is because they're huge resource hogs and they don't really add a lot to uh, the the image quality. And then I'll, I'll load up here to Jameson Memorial. And that's gonna be 720p resolution. Uh, you know, I'll have to look into making recordings for at higher resolution and uploading them to YouTube. But uh, we'll go ahead and return to surface here if I can. There we go. So I don't know if you can see. This is what I stream at all the time. And to me, from my perspective, what I see, and if you do this for yourself and you have the car graphics card to support it you'll notice um you'll notice a detail level of quality without a lot of hole there's a little bit of jaggy lines right there but for the most part there is really not much aliasing going on with the jagged lines and whatnot i could look around the inside of the station here and everything looks really good it looks really clear stuff off in the distance the detail on it is really nice so that's it for the tutorial if you have any questions come and visit me on my twitch channel uh post some comments in below uh i will try to answer uh answer your posts within 24 hours typically but that's gonna be it for the tutorial uh hit the subscribe button if you want to help me out the, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to monetize the videos and start earning some money. Um, so you could help me get to that goal. So anyways, this is JD Splice signing off. Hope you liked the video. Take care.